Louisiana Beer Reviews, Open Gate Guinness Breweries, Imperial Gingerbread Spiced Stout, Aged in Kentucky Bourbon Barrels, 11% alcohol, brewed and bottled by Guinness Brewing Company, Baltimore, Maryland. It's actually Baltimore County, Maryland. It's just slightly outside the city limits, but I guess <clears throat> most people would say Baltimore, but technically it is not. This now, there's no website listing for this. Oh, and there's all kind of road construction going on there, literally repaving the roads. But that's going to go on for days. Um, this street's mostly done. Mostly done. Uh, it's a, you know what? I don't have to describe road paving. Been 27 years since they've done it here. This winter treat was brewed with allspice, ginger, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Sort of like a pumpkin pie. Then Asian bourbon barrels. Oh, then Asian bourbon barrels, period. Rich notes of gingerbread with warm notes of bourbon. Okay, gingerbread uses those spices too. Yes. And then he's got his blower motor going. <laughs> um, Guinness decided, I mean in Diageo, but Diageo is Guinness, uh, they decided years ago to sort of expand their line with the blonde lager, then re reformulated as ale, and bring out occasional products like this. Anheuser-Busch Budweiser was doing the same thing and may continue, I don't know. Nice label, it was expensive. Uh, it was $15.99 for a four pack, so $4 a bottle. If it's that kind of price point, you're really gonna be disgusted if it's not at least a 95 out of 100, the way I see it. This is the first time trying it. There are some video reviews, which I intend to watch. But I'm sorry for this construction, industrial uh, experience here. Not much head of foam, but it would be thicker in a narrow or brim glass. The light's actually there. The sun. It's uh, amber. Now let's see what it looks like with the sun shining at it. Still not super dark. It's a red, more of a red stout than a brown stout, but reddish brown for sure. Very bubbly. It's warming up. Now, must be about 60 degrees. Whew. Strong whiff of bourbon. Now, what, what bourbon barrels are they using? Great question. Um, if you look at a map, internet map, um, there's, a, there's a, a place called Monumental Did they change? Oh, yeah, it's called Majestic Distilling. Now, Majestic Distilling, right close to this Guinness, uh, Maryland, Bal Baltimore, Maryland County, Baltimore County, Maryland, uh, brew pub, brewery, right along the railroad track there. And it would make sense to me that they could be getting bourbon barrels from Majestic Distilling. I have gotten two whiskeys from that bottling plant, uh, rectifying plant. I got the uh, Club 400 blended, blended whiskey, and I got the uh, Canadian Leaf Canadian blended whiskey. But um, I'm pretty sure there's, there's bourbon barrels over there for blending purposes. So um, if it's straight bourbon, it would probably be, um, or it could be anything. It could be Old Charter, Benchmark, very old Barton, ancient age. They could be sending all that over there, Kentucky Tavern. All of that east to that facility for uh, all, the, uh, all those purposes. I mean, it'd be the cheapest, I would imagine, the cheapest ones to get right down the street. And they might just ship the Guinness there, let them, I don't know, maybe they bring the barrels to the 
brew house have they might have those on display because it look pretty for the tourists strong bourbon barrel though of some sort and that's the strong strong flavor and that's 11 percent 11.2 ounce bottle I wasn't thrilled with that now some people will tell me yeah, but that's the European measurement. That's what they measure, 11.2, 330 milliliters. True, but this is from the United States. And I'm getting other beers from time to time that are 11.2 and they are not European. I just think they're trying to cut corners. Hope you don't notice. Um, get those Jack Daniels flavored beers. They're 10%. Oh, what a deal. What a value, huh? Which is why I would get the pint cans may not cost any much more than the bottles we just don't see the pint cans much around here but again uh, the, the Jack Daniels I'm talking about flavor beers mostly it's just a single or a variety not variety pack the singles and the um, different flavor packs Mike's Harder is 11.2 <laughs> hard and harder what am I saying both Okay, the spices, they're, they are present. They're here, they're here, but they are not taking the lead. The lead is being taken by the bourbon barrel. So if you're really a big fan of barrel aged Imperial Stouts, this is gonna work for you because it's strongly bourbon barrel in this initial tasting. If you prefer the spices, you may be disappointed. It's a strong, hefty stout. When you think of Guinness, you don't think of 10, 11 percent alcohol beers. You think of maybe 5.6. If you can find that for an extra stout, like you know, seven and a half. This is a this is a bombastic product. Do I expect them to make more? I think they will. Uh, I think they're going to come out with some more varieties. Uh couple every year or something like that mouthfeel it's um, full but not really heavy more like high medium the finish is mostly dry on the Cyclops scale sugar cubes it's pretty sweet I would say four out of five sugar cubes at least so if you don't like sweet beers run from it if you don't like high alcohol beers run from it and uh, bitterness scale um, low, beautiful bottle. Low, 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 low. Um, maybe one and a half to two, at the most, two out of five hop cones. I really think so. I don't think it's, it's too bitter. So you look on the Guinness website, these are not listed. This and the uh, Imperial Stout. If you look on the uh, Open Gate Brewery, it is not listed. There's a little link that says, if you want to read about what's on tap, click this and it'll take you to a Facebook page for Guinness Open Gate Brewery. And they just basically show this as being sold on draft. I bet the draft is great. But, um, and it's just like a general description of the product that you would probably find on any retail outlets website like Total Wines, just like the sell sheet. Doesn't tell you a whole lot. Just they age it for months um, in bourbon barrels of some origin. <clears throat> Goes down pretty easy. Yeah, what I think the appearance is like Coca-Cola now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> It's very pleasant, very pleasant. Now, is it a 95, 9.5 out of 10 or higher? 95 out of 100 or higher? I think so, but I don't know if it's um, much higher or even higher than that. I think this one is about 95, most excellent. Outstanding, which in my scoring, I always am consistent with scoring. William Kepley talks a lot about that, and his point is very appropriate. You need to have a standard scale, or none of the scales mean anything. But um, 
98, 99, 100 would be outstanding. Above 100 would be world class. World class would be something that's beyond perfect. It's nearly unavailable and unbelievable and oftentimes unaffordable. But those are not encountered often much at all, ever. If I've had 10, I don't think I've had 10 world class beers in my life. I've had close to 10, I think. Um, final analysis. It's, it's wonderful. Is it worth $16 minus a penny? Um, I don't know. I bought it. I, I wasn't going to miss it, so I said, hey, I'm buying it. <laughs> so I shelled it out. It's tangy. I mean, you've got to like bourbon. I don't love bourbon. I like it. Bur I like bourbon. I don't, I'm not. A, I don't adore it like many people do. Uh, some people take issue with that. I suppose people should drink whatever. Should prefer whatever they prefer, if you understand. But uh, it's very nice. I think there is a place though that they could do rum barrel, Guinness, and other stouts beers um, you wouldn't say Canadian Irish or Scotch because they use they typically are utilizing used bourbon barrels but rum barrel well they use bourbon too but uh, you get that rum that rum taste so it just becomes saturated in the uh, barrel I would like to see a, a rum barrel Guinness and Diageo owns many rum brands The next point and final point, I guess, is could there be a place for infusion, infusion beers? That's tricky because uh, for legal reasons, like uh, Guinness Imperial Stout spiked with blended scotch, like Guinness Johnny Walker blend. Be a fascinating concept. And you could, you could make bomber bottles of Guinness Imperial Stout infused with Johnny Walker Blue. I mean, it would be $28, 11.2 ounce bottle, things like that. But there, there is a, I think a niche place for that. Uh, a Buchanan's Deluxe Blend Infusion in Guinness. They've got the products, why not do it? Uh, I should be on their visionary board, right? Coming up with concepts. <laughs> They'd probably say, your concepts are brilliant, but they're bankrupt in the company. Nobody buys them. We make all this product. It's expensive, and a handful of people buy it. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, then we'd have to go to uh, City Brewing and do uh, Cowboy Lager with uh, Cowboy Lager with ancient age preferred blended whiskey. Oh, well, hey, it would be $5 a bottle, whatever. All right, so um, great product anyway. Most excellent. Uh, sorry for the noise, can't help that. It's gonna go on for many days. And uh, I'm sorry that I was kinda like, um, as you could tell, sorta of perplexed about this beer. Um, one more sip because I'm thinking it's going to be just an, uh, an extravaganza of gingerbread. That was my thinking. It isn't. It's an extravaganza of bourbon barrel with uh, undertones of bourbon bread. Bur uh, okay, it is 11%, so yep. Yeah. Uh, gingerbread. So, les les bon temps relais fascinating product nonetheless got three bottles left see what happens with those and I'm gonna end this review by saying oh and I asked my friend David I say you want to try the gingerbread he said no <laughs> I knew he'd say that I was just mentioning that to pinprick <laughs> but at, at the end of the day he'll probably still come over here and say yeah we could do the gingerbread gingerbread one laissez-les bon temps I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down
till sunny and dry one of those 45 days a year, southeastern Louisiana.